Boom, ba doom, ba ding dee dee boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin. Always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's necktie for the tail of your kite. Using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little Lulu, little Lulu, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny curls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Though you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to tame. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. <laughs> played dodgeball the other day. The person who wins, of course, is the one who keeps farthest away from the ball for the longest. But we figure by those rules, Tubby actually won. He stayed at home. <laughs> one thing's for sure, it's not a sophisticated game. I mean, unlike other sports, nobody's taught how to play dodgeball. The minute they stand you up in front of a wall and start whipping things at you, you know how to play. <laughs> One guy you don't want to play dodgeball with is Slug. He's the toughest kid on the planet. One time, I saw him write his name in sidewalk cement with his finger. And the cement was dry. Hey, Lulu! Digging for buried treasure? Don't be ridiculous, Iggy. We are on an archaeological dig, searching for buried mummies. <laughs> I found something! Is it a mummy? No, it's nothing but an old vase. Ming Dynasty. <laughs> More junk. We've been digging for an hour, and we haven't found one mummy yet. Well, maybe you should dig someplace where you're more likely to find a mummy. You mean like Egypt? No, I was thinking the museum. <sighs> Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah! oh, what did I sit on? This. It's incredible. It's amazing. What is it? I don't know. fell off of a flying saucer, or... Hey, Officer McNabb, look what we found! Nice um, thingamajig. Of course! That's what it is. It's a thingamajig. Tubby, what's a thingamajig? <laughs> There's always one place you can count on for answers. TV? Shh! No, Tubby, the library. I can't believe it. What? What? Did you know that there are over 25 bones in the human hand? Shh! We're supposed to be looking for information on the thingamajig. <gasps> I can't believe it. It's the thingamajig. This book says it's an ancient cursed artifact. That doesn't look anything like our thingamajig. I'm telling you, Lulu, our thingamajig is cursed. Lulu, wait up! Hey, it looks like the library put in a new security system. Uh oh! <gasps> See, Lulu, this thing is cursed. Why else would this happen? Maybe because you forgot to put the book back? <laughs> Sorry about that. This is great! I've never owned a cursed artifact before. Tubby, how many times do I have to tell you? It's just a piece of metal. But no buts. All this talk about curses is silly. But, but what, Tubby? But the wagon is getting away. <laughs> More bad luck. Coincidence? I think not. That does it. I'm going over to Annie's. I bet Annie will say we should get rid of it, Lulu. We don't need to get rid of it. It's not cursed. Hey! 
What are you kids doing? Stepping all over the wet cement. What wet cement? Hmm, maybe you're right. Let's get rid of that thingamajig, uh, just in case. Well, that's the last time that thing will ever harm anyone ever again. Ouch! Huh? Where'd this come from? Wow, this is beautiful. Wonder what it is. Hey, guys! Look what I found! Guys? The guys will probably be back after lunch. I'll leave it here for now. Now that we got rid of that thingamajig, I feel better already. See you, Lulu. Ah, no! What is it, Tubby? The thingamajig! It's following us! That's the last we'll see of that thingamajig. Now let's go celebrate with some of your mom's cookies. Oh, Tubby, you'll do anything for cookies. There's nothing better than chocolate cookies after a day of archaeology. Look, Lulu! This will get rid of it once and for all. Tubby's thingamajig. They must have dropped it. Lulu, Tubby, look what I have for you. Your thingamajig. Ah! <gasps> That's not a thingamajig. It's... it's... My missing hood ornament. Your, Your missing, missing hood ornament? And here's a $5 reward for finding it for me. Thanks, mister. But I should warn you, that hood ornament is cursed. There. Cursed thing of a jig indeed. Well, cursed or not, it's not our problem anymore. Don't you look where you're going. I, you know, I was just, I had the right of way. This is a brand new car, you know? I used to get grounded when I was younger for drawing on walls with a crayon. It didn't make sense to me. When cavemen did it, the drawings were roped off and praised as historical masterpieces. When I did it, the drawings were erased and I was sent to bed without supper. Talk about a double standard. When my mom sends me to my room, she always gives me a question to think about to help pass the time. Last time she said, if you were stranded on a desert island with only one book, what book would it be? I said, that's easy, how to build a boat. <laughs> then I went to my room and wondered how I was gonna get through the next three hours. Dooba dooba doo. going to be our guest for the weekend. What? I forgot to tell you, the Tompkins had to leave town very suddenly. So suddenly they forgot their kid? Of course not, but I told them that Tubby could stay with us for a few days. Well, as long as he stays out of my way. Come along, Tubby. I'll show you to your room. Wait a minute. What room? Kinda 
is soft, but I guess it'll do. But this is my room. Now, now, Lulu. Tubby is our guest. We all have to make sacrifices. Dad! Don't look at me. So where am I going to sleep? You can sleep on a cot in the living room. Won't that be fun? Tubby is our guest. We all have to make sacrifices. If we're all making sacrifices, how come I'm the one sleeping in the living room? Oh, ah! <gasps> this isn't happening! What's a guy gonna do to get some privacy around here? What is going on? Oh, oh my! Hey, what is this, a party? Don't you people know how to knock? Tubby's right, Lulu. Let's give him some privacy. I'd love to, but where's the door? Ow. 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 Stupid cot. Hey, smells like pancakes. Lulu, have you been cooking? Not me. Well, if not you, then... <gasps> oh, no! Huh? Morning! Sheesh, what a mess. Let's eat. I hope you don't mind, but you've been so nice, I thought making breakfast was the least I could do. Tubby, you shouldn't have. I mean, really, you shouldn't have. Now, now, Martha. Remember what you said to Lulu. Tubby's our guest, and we all have to make sacrifices. Besides, these pancakes are pretty good. Lulu, your mother's upstairs with a headache, and I'm off to the hardware store. This weekend, I'm finally going to finish my project. Okay, Dad. What project? He's been making something down in his workshop. It's a secret. Every weekend he says he's gonna finish it, but I don't think he ever will. Oh! Tubby! What you doing? Nothing. Uh-oh! <laughs> Tubby Tompkins! I wanted to surprise your dad by helping him finish his project. See? It's a coffee table. Tubby, that's supposed to be a stool! Oh. Then I guess I shouldn't have sawed off the legs. We gotta fix it and clean it up before my dad gets home. Now, where's the glue? Oh, there it is. When it dries, you'll never know the difference. Lulu, Tubby, are you down there? What do you think of my stool? Not bad, huh? No! What happened to my stool? I was just trying to help. I thought it was supposed to be a coffee table. What? No, everything is not all right. I've been working on this project for weeks, and then he comes along and ruins it. Well, I'm sure he didn't mean it. Isn't that right, Tubby? <laughs> <sighs> Great. That makes me feel a lot better. It's like you said, Dad. With Tubby as a house guest, we all have to make sacrifices. Well, thanks for letting me stay with you. I'm sorry about all the trouble I caused. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. Maybe there is, Tubby. Maybe there is. Bye! Bye! Have a nice weekend! Well, Tubby, I hope your bed's comfortable. I need my beauty sleep, you know. Oh, boy. shopping for Tubby's birthday. Yesterday, I went to a practical joke store. Big mistake. When I walked in, it was just an empty room with a sign that said, Gotcha. <laughs> Here's some
something ironic. Last year for my friend Pete's birthday, I mailed him a boomerang. But no matter how much postage I put on it, it kept coming back. Last year he had a costume party on his birthday. I went dressed as an apple. It would have been fun, except for the guy who came dressed as William Tell. I was dodging arrows all night. Like mud monsters, it might be a good idea if Tubby took off his hat. Okay, that didn't work too well, but we'll get him next time. We should come up with some better outfits. Mud monsters aren't even that scary. Hey, what are you kids doing here? <laughs> As if we're gonna fall for that. It's no joke this time. We can prove it. It was right here. Well, it's not here now. Good thing it didn't take our clothes. Obviously, this is a mud monster with some fashion sense. I'm telling you, Lulu, it was real. Oh, yeah. Then what did it look like? Like that? <laughs> For Pete's sake! I'm trying to make a movie here. Where on earth did those kids come from? No sign of him. I think we're safe. What should we do? We have to tell somebody. But we don't want to start a panic. So it has to be someone responsible. Someone who knows how to handle an emergency. How about Officer McNabb? Close enough. Okay, let me see if I've got this right. There was a mud monster with fangs and claws, and he chased you through the woods. Exactly. So what do we do now? Call the FBI? Why don't you kids go bother someone else? I've got real police work to do. Hey, you! No littering! Well, guys, it looks like it's up to us. We're gonna have to catch that monster ourselves. And cut. Brilliant. Olivier couldn't have done it better himself. Now, let's pack up and move on to the next location. Wait, I think I lost my watch. I, I, I put it down here somewhere. What did he say? I can't understand him under that mask. I think he said he lost his watch. Oh, for Pete's sake, I don't have time for this. I'm behind schedule, I'm over budget, and these union guys are costing me a fortune. Uh, uh, just give me 10 minutes. I think he said, oh, never mind what he said. Just meet us down by the pond and make it quick. <sighs> I should have stayed in dental school. I don't know about this, Lulu. Maybe hunting monsters is something you should leave to the professionals. Don't worry about it, Tubby. I've got it all under control. Now all we need is some bait. Well, don't look at me. 
What I tell you, not even a mud monster can resist a cupcake. Let me out of here. Officer McNabb, we caught the monster. I thought I told you kids to... Oh, what is that? It's the mud monster we were telling you about. I am not a mud monster. It looks almost human. Maybe we should call one of those guys uh, uh, an ophthalmologist. You mean an anthropologist? Whatever. What's going on here? Why have you people tied up my lead actor? He's an actor? Of course. You didn't think he was a real mud monster, did you? Who? Me? No, oh, of course not. Uh, oh, don't be ridiculous. It was those kids. Hmm. I should probably have you charged with kidnapping or something. But I've got a better idea. Not bad. Not bad at all. Are any of you members of the Screen Actors Guild? Perfect. <laughs> cut, cut. Okay, that was pretty good. Except for one thing. Mon Monster number three forgot to take off his hat. Oops! Sorry! Last night, the star on our Christmas tree fell off and hit me on the head. Just my luck. We had to get a shooting star. Yesterday, Alvin's dad told him to trim the tree. Alvin had it all the way down to the size of a bush before he realized his dad meant decorate it. Apparently, when Santa Claus touches his nose, he flies up the chimney. Well, that's great on Christmas Eve, of course, but what about the rest of the year? Imagine he's at home, relaxing in the tub, when suddenly his nose gets itchy, so he scratches it and poof! He's standing naked on his rooftop. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 